Yeah, hi there. These comments are for HY, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the online TOEFL course, the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and you're also a student in the English language program here at California State University, San Bernardino. So you're doing the, uh, it's basically integrated speaking task number four, right? And in, in our class, it's these, it's number six in my online TOEFL course, right? All right, let's hear. The reading passage explains that it's difficult to monitor countries on using nuclear energy technology. No, no, you're explaining a detail point. You want to explain a main point. The reading passage is explaining the dangers of nuclear energy, and the listening passage gives an example to illustrate that point. So remember, in the beginning of your response, HY, you want to focus on stating the main points. So, for example, if you saw, if you saw apples, bananas, oranges, and lemons, right? Obviously, if you introduce those topics, you're talking about fruit. You're not going to talk about apples or bananas first. You're going to talk about a more general statement. Particularly on producing nuclear weapons. The listening passage illustrates the risk of nuclear energy by providing an example of nuclear accident occurred in formal Soviet Union. Yes, that's good. You're stating exactly the purpose of the lecture, but you didn't do that with the reading passage. In the reading passage, they also introduces an agency, IAEA, okay. which intends to monitor nuclear facilities and prevent weapon proliferation in the world. So it's weapon proliferation, which means they want to rid the world of countries which accumulate a lot of nuclear weapon ma or materials. Even though so the weapons. agency uses a set of safeguards agreements to ensure its inspections, okay. it still cannot deduct all of nuclear material. In the listening passage... And why is that? I think according to the reading passage, the author claims that the this International Atomic Energy Agency it has difficulty monitoring what countries are doing with the enriched uranium that they're using. For example, are they using it for weapons? Or are they using it for safe, peaceful energy purposes? That's kind of the, the, the main point of the reading. The, the speaker gives an example of the world's worst nuclear explosion in 1986 okay. and a list for inspects of this accident. First, 30 people... And at what? I'm having trouble hearing something that you just said. Let me go back. 1986, and the list for inspects of this accident. First, 30 people died. And it lists for inspects for that accident. I, I'm not sure what you're saying there. Either that's pronunciation or language use uh, problems there. Immediately after the explosion. Second, the fallout was incredibly far-reaching. Third, 10,000 cancel deaths were directly a result from the accident. Last, the economical loss was three times more than the total benefit of all power plants operated between 1954 and 1990. And all nuclear power plants specifically, I think you want to say. Okay, so let's take a look here. So I, I think overall in this one it looks like you had, you had some language use issues. Now what that's telling me is... You're not as comfortable when you're talking about academic type information. It's a little bit hard for you to find the right grammar and the right vocabulary to explain those ideas. Now, from a topic development standpoint, remember I gave you this suggestion in the beginning? You want to state the main point. So the reading is talking about the dangers of nuclear energy, and then the listening passage gives an example to illustrate those dangers. Right? So I, I think you, you should have stated the main point of the reading, I think, in the beginning, and you started with a more specific detail. Uh, delivery, I'm going to say it was okay. You, I could understand most of what you're saying, but not everything. So clearly, again, with some of the more technical, what I call conceptually dense type information, you're having more difficulty talking about those kinds of things. 
So what does that mean exactly for you? Uh, I would recommend, in addition to using my online TOEFL course, which obviously can help you make a lot of improvements with your English, uh, consider watching TV programs, but programs with an emphasis maybe on science. So science type programs, that should give you a little bit higher level type vocabulary, and if you can work on getting used to that, that'll make it much easier uh, when you're in your graduate program and you start getting a lot of technical information very quickly. Um, all right, so your score here, uh, I think overall, I'm going to put you at about 2.5 on this one, 2.50 out of 4, or 19 points out of 30 on this particular practice test.